Hello, Richie from Marmalade here. Right now we're gonna talk about keyword search. It is this first icon up here in the top left, looks like a compass, and keyword search is the core of Marmalade. Here you're going to take your keyword ideas that you've used the keyword comparison tool for. So you're gonna start with these best ones and you're gonna drill down into them to find the very best for your listings, for your shop, for your buyers. All right, so we're gonna cover searching. We're gonna cover positive and negative keywords. So for instance, silver starfish, that is a positive keyword. Negative bracelet, that is a negative keyword. So silver starfish minus bracelet, that is gonna return Etsy results for me that are for silver starfish, but not anything having to do with bracelet. Filters, we're gonna talk about the filters we have. You can limit your results to just 42, which is the first page of Etsy, to see what works on just the first page. Or you can do 100, which is about three pages. Or you can do 500, which is about 12 pages of Etsy results. Talk about my listings, including your shop in or out of those listings. Filtering by material, filtering by category, and the benefits of each of these uh, reasons for doing so. All right, so as you can see here, I did a search for silver starfish bracelet. So now I'm getting results for just those uh, silver starfish, but nothing to do with bracelet. As you can see over on the right, there's other ideas, which I'll cover a little bit later. Uh, it does not like that all that much. So if I get rid of that, it's gonna be much happier. Also, most buyers are gonna be searching for silver starfish, not knowing to put a negative in front of bracelet to emit results for bracelet. But when you're doing a deep dive on these listings or on these uh, keyword searches, doing negative keywords is a nice way of filtering certain things out right up front. Even though you can still filter by category, material, um, it's still nice to remove some of those sometimes. Anyways, now you can see other ideas is much happier. I'm getting much better suggestions for silver starfish. All right, let's start over here with the limit two. So if I expand this, you'll see 42, 100, and 500. Like I said, 42 is the very first page of Etsy search results on a desktop. So the reason we go 42 is this is a nice way to really drill into that keyword and see what's working to get on the very first page. Not the three pages, not the 12 pages, what's working on the first page. And it updates all of your results, all of the analytics on here, for just that. So definitely check that out when you're going in a deep dive with this. 100, this is a great happy ground, happy medium ground. Um, it's gonna cover three pages. So you're seeing not just the first, not just the second, but also the third, but it's really not too much either. 500, however, is gonna give you 12 pages of results. This is great for casting a nice big broad net and seeing what is working on the first 12 pages, what people are doing in that whole universe. Maybe it's not even what's working well for them, but you can take an idea or two from that, some of the tags, look at some of the other listings in there, improve upon them, and shoot up to the top. Remember, you don't have to be perfect, you just have to be better than your competition, which in some markets is easy, in some markets is really difficult. But we're gonna give you the edge. You can also filter by material. So, silver starfish. Now if mine are just sterling silver and some of this other does not apply, obviously brass does not apply to my sterling silver uh, starfish pendant necklace. Okay, so I can filter those out. I can just look at sterling silver and all of my results, are the 23 now, are gonna be geared towards sterling silver. I can also filter by category. So if I'm not selling a ring, well, I don't need to have ring on there. I can just look, search for necklace, and oh, it's also a charm. Uh, it's not jewelry, or uh, it's not earrings, it is jewelry, it's not earrings, um, and also the jewelry. But they're also not supplies. So now, I'm filtering for just those. You can see now there's 27 shops competing, 34 analyzed. If I clear the filters, oh, number is updated. Now we're back to 100 analyzed and there's 71 shops competing. 